Ok, deme un segundito. Sí, ahí está. Ok. Ok, guys. All right. All right. So, eh, well, hasta el momento, gracias a todos por la, por la asistencia, de vos seis. Gracias por la responsabilidad que han tenido con, con el programa y uno con su aprendizaje y de estar todavía acá. Vamos a comenzar ahora, como siempre lo hacemos con la asistencia. Así que si me ayudan, por favor, con sus cámaras. Let me uh, see you guys. Y me ayudan con mis presentes. Okay, there we go. So let me call out your names y me ayuda con un present, please. Un segundito. Okay, there we go. So, eh, Bismarck, Bismarck está por acá. Claudia Patricia. Ok, so no Bismarck, no Claudia. Edgardo Vladimir. Edwin Ernesto. Aquí estoy. Presente. Gracias. Eh, perdón, ¿quién, ¿quién me habló? <ríe> Sorry, no puedo ver sus cámaras. So, eh... Yo aquí estoy, pero si Claudia activo Ray. la cámara se me vuelve más lento el internet. Ah, no se preocupe, gracias Claudia. Evelyn, Mar Evelyn Carolina. Present, gracias Miss. Evelyn Mariela. Present. Thank you. Fátima Elizabeth. Ok. Gerardo Alexis. ¿Vos no contestaste? No. Francisco Man. Alexander. Ok. Eh, Gerardo Alexis. Germán Mejía. Presente. Gracias, Germán. Gerson Rubén. Present. Gracias. Glenda Beatriz. Gloria Elizabeth. Eh, Jorge Alberto. Carla José Naum. Present. Gracias, José. Carla Marcela. Carla Stephanie. Present. Gracias. Elvin Miguel. Gracias. Gracias, Kelvin. Luis Mario. María René. Present. Thank you, Miss. Mirma eh, Ismari. Nancy Carolina. Present. Gracias. Eh, Nelson Alfredo. Present. Gracias. Roberto Antonio. Roberto Betancur. Present. Gracias, Roberto. Mr. Betancur, lo vi por ahí. Present, teacher. Thank you. Sara Elisa. Present. Thank you, Miss. Silvia Ivonne. Present, teacher. Gracias, Silvia. Jen Jessica Odalis. María Angélica, creí haber visto a María hace unos minutitos. Present. Gracias, Miss. Thank you so much. Okay, so we are going Chair. to... Hello. Perdón, es que creo que no me escucho muy present porque como que no me funcionó el micrófono. Glenda, Beatriz. Bye, gracias, Glenda. Deme un segundito, solamente actualizo esto y ahorita la marco por acá. Thank you. 
Linda. Linda Beatriz. Ahí está. Thank you, teacher. You are welcome. Thank you. Thank you for being here. There we go. Okay, everybody. So, thank you so much. Uh, we are going to get started today. Y vamos a trabajar un poquito. We are going to be working. Give me one second. Okay. So, today we are going to be working with cities, international zones. Vamos a practicar un poquito de, de speaking. Y vamos a seguir con present continuous as well. So let me start presenting my screen. Uh, that is part of the platform that we are working on. So by the end of this class, you will be able to talk about different cities and international zones. They will practice a conversation between two people uh, talking about these uh, different time zones. As you may know, I guess everybody has a family in other countries. So alguien tiene familia en otros países. Do you have family in other countries? Any other country? Yes, teacher. Where? In Serbia. Nice. Okay, so that's Serbia. All right. Alguien más? Anybody else? Yes, teacher. Where? Uh, Los Angeles. Okay. Serbia, Los Angeles. Okay. Uh, it called my attention, Serbia, porque está bien lejos. <laughs> and also Los Angeles is far, but it, it's part of USA. ¿Cuántas horas hay de uh, diferencia? Yeah. Do you know? ¿Saben cuánto yes. tiempo hay de diferencia? Seven years. Yeah, per seven hours. Ok, yes. seven yes. hours. ¿En Los Angeles? Two hours. Two, ok, seven and two. All right. Anybody else? ¿Alguien más tiene familia in a different place, in a different country? The rest? Not yet. No yet. Ok, todavía no, guys. Cuando están por allá, you tell us. <laughs> ok, so... Ok, so this is actually what we are going to be um, discussing a little bit, right? Like, with what time is it? So, si acaso son las ocho, right? ¿Qué horas son allá? What time is it there, right? Uh, so, if Roberto says that it's seven hours ahead, that means that in Serbia right now, it's 3 a.m., right? So that would be 3 a.m. And in Los Angeles right now, it's like 10 p.m., right? So, and also, tienen este cambio que se llama daylight saving, donde eh, es como un poquito diferente, right, eh, during the year. So, we are going to first listen to this conversation, right? We are going to be listening to this one. Let's pay attention to it. Y revisamos this one that says, what time is it there? ¿Qué horas son ahí? Right. What time is it there? Let me mute myself para que la podamos escuchar. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about different cities and international time zones. Additionally, you will practice a conversation between two people in different time zones. Let's get started by listening to a short audio program to practice different cities around the world. Let's listen and repeat. Vancouver. Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, London, Casablanca, Cape Town, Warsaw, Moscow, Riyadh, Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney. Now let's listen to a conversation which illustrates the importance of understanding different time zones. Let's listen and repeat. Hello. Hi Debbie, this is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m., and it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. 
Now it's your time to practice the conversation that we just heard. And also, I would like for you to answer the following questions in our discussion forums by looking at the map. Which I'm calling from Australia. Australia? Okay, everybody. So the conversation is kind of cool, I would say, because it's very like uh, natural. So the person is like, hey, what time is it there? Four in the morning. So I'm awake now. It's like, ya me despertaste, right? <laughs> so anyways, so I believe if you have family in other countries or friends, not necessarily family, but maybe friends. Yeah, so you may have friends and you're like, hey, te voy a contar esto. Eh, que amon, estoy dormida. I'm still, you know, uh, in bed, right? So this is like a very common thing because we forget that it's not the same time. So let's take a look at this one. This is a very cool conversation. One person is in Sydney, in Australia, right? And the other person is in Los Angeles. So, even, si ustedes no tienen familia, imagínense que ustedes están allá, right? Imagine that you are in any of these cities, in any of these countries, right? Um, so, if you had the opportunity to travel, ¿a dónde le gustaría ir? Where would you like to go? Where would you like to be? Europe. Europe, any specific place, any specific like city right now? Yes. Paris. Where? Where? Paris. Paris. Oh, France, Paris. Okay, so that would be France. What about the rest? Where would you like to be right now? ¿Dónde le gustaría estar, guys? Where would you like to be? Let's get creative. German. Uh, okay. Germany. Okay, so Germany. That's all right. Roberto, hi. No lo había visto. I haven't seen your camera. Are you working right now? I think you're mute. Estoy en otra clase también. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh my God, como puede ser tan multitasking. Thank you. Thank you for being here. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys, so where would you like to be? So Germany, Paris, what about the rest? Nelson, where would you like to go? Japan. Okay, Japan, yes. that's all right. Nancy, what about you? Canada. Canada, okay, that's all right. Kelvin, where would you like to go? A donde le gustaría ir? Brazil, yeah, you see. Oh, you mentioned Brazil. Okay, that sounds like por el carnaval, right? <laughs> uh -huh, I got you. <laughs> okay, Francisco, and you, where would you like to go? Moscú. 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 So se va a ir con, creo que Roberto dijo Germany. So you will be going with him. <laughs> okay, um, what about the rest? Carla, where would you like to go? Me gustaría, pero Suecia. Uh, why? Why Switzerland? ¿Por qué ahí? Why there? Dicen que es bien bonito. Ok, pero le gustaría ir a vivir. Sí. Ok, ok, that sounds cool. Sounds definitely good. So, lo que vamos a hacer ahorita es this. Imagínense que ustedes están en este lugar y van a tener una actividad like super, super cool right now. Investiguen qué hora es ahí. What time is it there? Okay. So imagine that you are in that country. So it, pueden googlearlo ahorita y revisen qué hora es en you know, this country. Okay. What time is it there in Brazil? What time is it in the Japan? Y vamos a practicar esa conversación. We're going to practice this conversation. Okay. Basado en ese lugar. I'm calling from. Okay. So a dónde están ahorita? Imagine for a split second. Que están en ese lugar. So if I had the opportunity, I don't know. I would like to be probably in, yeah, in, in Russia. So I don't know why. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to investigate about it. And you can say like, oh, I'm sorry. Y demos la hora, right? Say, oh, it's 4 a.m. here. It's 4, ahorita son las 8.19. It's 8.19 there. I mean, in El Salvador, it's 8.19. What about in your country? 
que ahora son ahí ahorita, right? So, we are going to uh, go to a small groups. We are going to practice, okay, for a couple of seconds. And then, voy a tener un par de voluntarios. So I'm going to have some volunteers to come and present. So, let's get there. Let's get there, guys. You have only like five, six minutes. So, let's go. I am a conference in London. Remember? All right. What time is is it there? It's two twenty-four uh, in the morning, and it's four o'clock there in. Los Angeles, right? Um, yes. Four o'clock in the morning. Four o'clock? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Va a practicar alguien más. No sé si Kelvin ya está listo. No sé si Kelvin ya está listo. Ya. Ok. ¿Con, eh, ¿con quién? ¿Con Mirma o con Carla Stephanie? Yes. Um, eight o'clock in the night. Okay, aquí sería it a aquí yo le digo verdad Ajá. it a pm uh, a ver creo que me equivoco ah a pm oh I'm really sorry that's okay I am awake now <risa> ¿Qué dice oh. medio tatarata vea pero ahí está ah no así vamos a ir aprendiendo ¿no? Qué bueno. Ah, güey, que despierto. Qué bueno. ¿Quién sigue? ¿Quién de las otras dos señoritas? ¿Era Nancy o...? Ah, sí, Nancy. Nancy. Hola. Sería con... Bueno, entonces usted sería David y yo sería John. 
¿Dónde vive usted para, para el diálogo? ¿Dónde vivo? En a YouTube. Ah, según el no, según el diálogo, ¿qué lugar ubicó? Ah, eh, Canadá. Ah, ok. Yo estoy en Brasil. Ok. Vale. Entonces, comienza entonces. Hello. Nancy se llama, ¿verdad? Sí. Ay, Nancy. Y is this John? I am calling from Canada. Canada? I am at conference on Canada, remember? All right. What time it 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 there? Is twenty two on the four on the clock during in, in Canada, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Aquí sería in the in the night in the night, verdad? <laughs> Good night. <laughs> oh, I'm really sorry, sorry, to see. Thanks, okay. I am away. No. Okay. Y ahora cambiamos. Ahora cambiamos, okay. Sería Glenda con usted, Gwen, y Francisco conmigo. <laughs> okay. Bien comienza, Francisco. Francisco. Hola, pero creo que falta alguien, ¿verdad? Porque somos cinco. No, pero es la no, teacher. La, la teacher. Es la teacher. Ah, ah la ok. Teacher. Ok. Nos estamos monitoreando. Ok. Es que sin la diadema se ve más jovencita todavía. Ya está oh. jovencita, pero sin la diadema se ve más joven. More Gracias. Young. <risa> okay. Bueno, entonces... Eh, entonces yo soy ahora Debbie... ¿Con quién me toca? Con Nancy. Yes. Con Nancy. Ah, okay. Hello. Hi, Francisco. This is John. I am Karin from Australia. No me dijo el país, Francisco. <risa> no, pero como me tiene que decir ese de donde es usted ahorita. Ah, vaya. I am Karin from Canada. Canada. I am, I am at conference in Canada, remember? All right. What time is it there? It's 8, 8 to 8 p.m. Así sería, ¿verdad? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it's your o'clock. There in los Ángeles like. Eh, bueno, le voy a seguir aquí. Yes, eh, for three o'clock in the morning. For I am. Oh, I am really sorry. Thanks. Okay, I'm awake now. Okay. Okay. Vamos okay. con Glenda. Okay. Ah, ahora yo soy John. Eh. Bye. Okay. Bye. Entonces yo soy David. Okay, John. Hello. Hi. Eh, estoy con Francisco, ¿verdad? Sí. No, con... no, con Edwin. Edwin. Ah, Edwin. perdón. Con Edwin. Perdón, Edwin. <laughs> Hi, Edwin. This is Glenda. Uh, I'm calling from Suiza. Suiza? I'm I on vacation in Suiza, remember? No. Oh, right. What time? 
what time is it? It's a... It's 3 p.m. and it's 8 o'clock in El Salvador, right? Yes. 7, 3, 3 o'clock on the night. Uh, eight or oh, uh, really sorry good night oh okay i am away now <laughs> okay i have a no question problem. I have a question, teacher. Teacher. Aguilar, I have a I'm sorry. Yo creo que me salí del grupo y no sé si tenía una pregunta para mí. Sí, sí. Me. Eh, me quedó la duda. Este, es que tengo la duda que si se dice o'clock cuando es la hora en punto mm -hmm. o, cuando, o cuando hay minutos no se dice o'clock, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's correct. O'clock es, es específicamente para las horas completas. So, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock. Por ejemplo, ahorita son las 8.31, yo no puedo decir o'clock. Because it's not 8, 8 o'clock, ¿ya? Yeah? So, it is only 8.31 p.m. Or a.m. if you want to be very specific. So, a.m. or p.m. Mm -hmm. Gracias. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, okay, everybody. So, I was listening to a couple of you, and I think that you're doing a very nice job. But I want everybody to listen to you as well. So uh, I don't know if I have any volunteer or los escojo. I like choosing victims. So <laughs> do I have any volunteer? Don't be crude, teacher. Don't be crude. No, I'm not. I'm just, I mean, I like to listen to you participating, you know, and, and everything. But but no, so, of course not. Just kidding, teacher. Uh, I see Alejandro, uh, I mean, Ale, no, Alexander. I see, sorry, Alexander, ya la vista, you know. I said that, ya no da. <laughs> Alexander, please help me. <laughs> uh, so you can choose a partner if that is okay with you. Uh, I see that Francisco, Francisco, you were working with Edwin, Glenda, and Nancy. So you can choose a partner to, to practice, right? To present. Okay. Con Glenda, ¿le parece? Ok. Ok. Glenda, yo soy este, John. Ok. <risa> Bye. Y le voy a decir que estoy en Rusia. A ver. Hello. Eh, hi. Eh, hi, Glenda. Eh, this is Francisco. I'm calling from Moscow. Moscow? Yes. Um, another conference uh, in Moscow, remember? All oh, right. What time is it there? It's 5 a.m. And it's uh, 8 p.m. There San Salvador, right? Uh, no, it's a thirty-four uh, in the night. Um, eight forty-two in the night. Uh, in the in the night. Okay, it's okay. Seria um, eight forty-two p.m. Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I am awake. No. Okay. <laughs> Todavía tenía que decir. Todavía. Excellent. Excellent. That, that was very nice. Very good job, guys. I like it. And I think that you investigated a little bit about the time in uh, at Moscow. 
So that was very nice. Okay, Glenda, la dejo que escoja. Choose next person. Who is next? Evelyn Saracay. Okay, Evelyn. Evelyn, there you go. So Evelyn, you can select your partner. I see that you were working with, let me see. Evelyn, Evelyn, Evelyn. Mm -hmm. I see that you were working with Claudia, Herman, and Roberto. So you can select. Uh, Claudia. Claudia, okay, perfect. So Claudia, are you, yes, there she is. Okay. Yo puedo ser Debbie. No sé si está bien, Claudia. Sí, está bien. Bye. Hello. Hi, hi, Evelyn. This is this is Ariana. I am calling from New York. New York. I am. Um, I am. A conference in Sunday. Remember. All right. What time is it? Is her turn? It's at 8 p.m. and it's at 7 o'clock there in in California, right? Yes. Uh, four o'clock in the morning. Um, seven, seven a.m. Oh, I am really sorry. Ten. Okay, I am away now. Finish. <laughs> Thank you guys. Yes, that was very nice. Thank you, Claudia. Thank you, Evelyn. That was a very good conversation. Okay, so pretty much th that is what happens with the time zones. Now, quiero preguntar qué hora es. So how can I tell the time? Como digo la hora, guys? How can I tell the time? For example, right now, qué hora es en El Salvador? What time is it here in El Salvador? Eight thirty-seven a.m. It is 8 and 37, exactly. So let's yeah, take yeah. a look at the following thing. We, I'm going to share my whiteboard with you so we can take a look at the time. Okay, so eh, como decimos ahora? how do we tell the time? It is actually very simple, right? Eh, si tengo, por ejemplo, las dos, if I get here, like, okay, give me one second. Okay. For example, uh, if the time is o'clock, all right, so I can simply use it like this, o'clock, me falta el apostrofe, ahí está. So if this is the time, right, so we can simply use two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, para la hora en punto, right? But then it happens a little bit um, different, you know, or we say it in a different way. For example, when we start having times like this. So when we have like a specific times and complete times, we can say o'clock. De lo contrario, we are not going to use a clock, all right? So, si son las nueve, nine o'clock, y hasta ahí. Otherwise, we don't use it. Now, ¿qué sucede con el resto de horas? ¿Cómo leo, like, how can I tell the time? First, puedo comenzar, I can definitely get started. Eh, and there are like a couple of ways. ¿Cómo pregunto la hora? What time is it? What time is it? Okay. ¿Qué hora es? What time is it? Hey, ¿qué hora es ahí? What time is it there? Ok. Y respondo con it is, al igual que en el video. So it is, it is 2 o'clock. It is 8.39 in El Salvador. Ok. Now, ¿qué sucede con el resto? What happens with the rest? Cuando llevan 15, for example, here, when we have 15, hay dos formas de leerlo. Number one, leo el primer número, two. So it is two. 
Y luego el siguiente después de los dos puntos, 15, tal cual está ahí. This is way number one. ¿Esto qué significa? That I can say two, 15. I can say three. ¿Cómo leo el 30? 30. So, 3, 30. Son las 4.52. It is 4. Y luego el 52. 52. 52. Mm -hmm. 6.23. It is 6. Y luego. 23. 23. Mm -hmm. 23. Ok. Now. Uh, voy a detenerme un poquito con el último porque es bien especial. But now. Esa es la forma 1. Leo el número, leo la hora, leo los minutos. Now. Way number 2. Los 15. Los 15, los leemos. 15, es como la forma 1. Ok. Uy, sorry about the noise. Y la segunda es en a quarter. Como si fuera una cora. En a, in a quarter. So, en a quarter. Oh my goodness, I cannot move it. Mm. Give me a second. So, uh, in ¿Y el tiempo MPM? Mm, ok, eso es como si usted lo, lo um, spelle, you know? So, P, M, A, M, como si lo estuviéramos de letra, right? But now, something important también sucede con esos, los 30. There are two ways. Yo digo 330, 330. Yeah, that is way number one. Y la segunda puede ser 3. En a half. Y la mitad. En a half. So, 3.30 or 3 and a half. Y ahí se va el tiempo, you know. Now, ¿qué sucede? What happens con este 04? This 04 is a little bit different. Porque este 0 lo voy a leer como un O. Como la letra eh, O, right? So, ¿cómo lo leo? It is 7 O no lo voy a escribir, lo voy a decir O y luego 4. So it is 7.04. Y así los leemos. Si son las 7 con, ¿qué? 8 con un minuto, it is 8.01, 8.02, 8.03, 8.04. So we are going to use O para indicar que no llega al número 10. Ok. Para los primeros 9 números, 07, 08, 09, vamos a usar O. Any questions so far? No, teacher. No. Teacher, y, y si digamos son las 7 y 4 y solo digo it's 7, 4, eh, it's 7, 4, eh, I am, mm. ¿es correcto o no? No, es que no sea correcto, you know what I mean, sino que suena como un poquito extraño. It sounds a little strange. I mean, definitivamente le van a comprender. Si la, la intención es que le comprenda, you can do that. Pero de lo contrario, I would suggest you que si le agregamos el, el O. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Ok, any other question, guys? Ok, so it looks like no. Now, in that case, if you got no questions, then let's do the following. Vamos a hacer como una listita de actividades que ustedes hacen, a list of activities, eh, sin oraciones completas, solamente what we are going to do is this. Indiquemos desde qué hora se, va, se levanta, right, hasta qué horas hacen como la última actividad. But only like a list, ok. Eh, si la quieren hacer de una sola vez con el verbo, pues no hay ningún problema. So we can try to recycle some vocabulary that we have learned so far. For example, eh, cuando no me duermo en la mañana. <risas> oh, my goodness. Oh. Podemos hacerlo de esta manera. La like list, right? O podemos hacerlo como una oración. Esto de acá en una oración siempre va al final. Ok. So, I can do it like this. I wake up y tengo 3.45. Ok. Pero, como lo quiero hacer como una oración, antes de la, de la hora, es obligatorio, lo voy a escribir con mayúsculas. It is mandatory. ¿Qué usamos? At. Por ser un tiempo. ¿Ok? Cuando decimos la hora, no, solo it is. Pero cuando decimos una actividad con hora, entonces sí, usamos at. So, for example, every day, 
I wake up at 3.45 a.m. Super early. Okay. Um, so, I, I start working at 4 a.m. Okay. And there we go. All right. So, we can use it this way. Podemos hacerlo así o lo hacemos como una listita, no se nos olvide el ad. I will give you five minutes para que la terminamos. No es una lista larga, al menos cinco o seis actividades que hagamos, that's a good, mm -hmm. that's a good one. Two more minutes.
Okay, everybody, so it is about time. Let me stop presenting my screen and we are going to uh, make some groups. So you can talk to your classmates and you can share, you can also listen to the time and we can practice this word. Solamente recordemos que exactly as the examples you are writing, antes de la hora siempre va un at, right? I do this at. So si pueden agregar más actividades, no hay ningún problema. Let's go ahead and do it. So give me just a second and let's go ahead and I'm going to change it one more time para que hablen con al, almost everybody. So there you go. Okay, everybody, stop. Please join it. Hola, hi. Hi. Okay. Um, ¿Y ahí quién empieza? Yo. Ok. <laughs> No, yo no. Que empiece no, por ser el único niño. No. No se te oye. I, no, I can hear you. Bueno, comienzo entonces. Ok. <risa> ok. ¿Comienzo? ¿O va a comenzar sí. alguien más? No, comienza, eso digo yo. Vaya, I wake up at 7 o'clock a.m. I take a shower at 7.30 a.m. I start to work at 8 a.m. I make my lunch at 11.30 a.m. I eat my lunch at 12.30 uh, p.m. Uh, 3.45 I drink my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, I finish my job at 5.20 p.m. Okay. Okay. Um, Solo eso. Ay. Solamente. Okay, voy a, voy a empezar yo. A ver. Uh, sí, bueno. Uh, ya. ¿Puedo empezar yo o vas a decir algo más? No, 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 empiezo. Ok. I head up at 10 a.m. Me levanto tarde. 
breakfast doing 11 a.m. I do what you do 11 11 treating a.m. Uh, I take a shower at on p.m. I play. Ay, ¿cómo se dice toda la tarde? Al afternoon. Y de último, and I play sleep at 3 a.m. Hey, no sé quién sigue. Creo que es Sara. O Carla, no estoy segura. No, yo ya lo dije. Ah, pues Sara. Teacher, hello, hello. Me, me pueden incluir en el grupo de WhatsApp, no sé por qué yo no estoy. Fíjese que creo que no podemos, pero usted sí se puede agregar. Eh, en el mismo correo donde usted recibió el contacto para unirse a la MIRI, había tres ¿Ah? enlaces, uno de la plataforma, otro es de YouTube y el otro, si no me equivoco, de WhatsApp. Solo le da clic, ah. le da como clic en el link y automáticamente usted se une. Uh -huh. Ah, muy bien. De acuerdo. Bueno. Si gusta, por ver ahorita. Y si no, acá sí. le, veo si le puedo compartir el link. Uh -huh. okay. Eh, ok, guys. So, thank you so much for, for uh, joining there. Antes de irnos, solo nos faltan dos minutitos. We are just two minutes away for, from finishing classes. Uh, I would like to listen to someone. I mean, I would like to listen to, to one volunteer. Alguien que casi no haya escuchado. Uh, one of these people is Gerson. No lo he escuchado ahora. I haven't heard you today. Creo que he escuchado a todos except you. <laughs> so let me listen to you. Okay. Okay, teacher. Um, I wake up at 9.30 a.m. Later, I have breakfast at 10 a.m. Also, I clean the house at 12 p.m. And later, I have lunch at 2, 15 p.m. And later, I go to the park with my dog at 4.45 p.m. And I watch TV from at 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. And I sleep at 12 a.m. I mean, so. <laughs> what time did you get up? What time did you get up? I wake up at 9.30 a.m. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Let me get that because you have no idea. <laughs> No, just kidding. I mean, yes. I think that's a very good routine, very good use of English and vocabulary. That was good. And I also like to use a lot. So very nice. That was good. Tell me, tell me. Eh, tengo una consulta. Eh, para le levantarse es get up o despertarse. Wake up. Como, wake, wake up es despertarse. Okay, uh, wake up es despertarse. Despertar. En get up es la acción get completa up. de levantarse. Uh -huh. okay. So, tendríamos a mí. I wake up, 
me despierto como a las cuatro y media. I wake up like around, no como a las tres y media. I wake up like 3.30 in the morning, pero me quedo dando vueltas. <laughs> I don't get up. So get up es ya la acción de despertar, ajá, de levantarse, right? Yeah, that's o sea, the one. que cualquiera de las dos podemos usar. Eh, depende, you know, normally, yeah, normally I would say yes, so we can definitely use both. Okay. Okay, everybody, so, oh my, oh my God, it's about time. Chicos, eh, terminamos el día jueves. Nuestro último día va a ser el día jueves. Tenemos como una super mini presentation de ustedes <laughs> el jueves, okay, para ver cómo, cómo vamos, cómo, eh, qué tanto hemos mejorado, right? Eh, también el día jueves la plataforma debe estar totalmente completada y you no know? necesitamos llegar el jueves al 80% como mínimo. Así que les agradezco si podemos avanzar un poquito más y así el jueves ya nadie tiene nada pendiente. Right? Si la pueden terminar entre ahora y miércoles, muchísimo mejor. Así ya no los molesto. <ríe> okay. uh, so guys, uh, thank you so much for, for being here. Nos vemos el día de mañana. Have a good night. And enjoy Gracias. your dinner. Ay, Bye, guys. Ay, 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 me pasa asistencia, por favor. Ahorita lo, lo actualizo, eh, Francisco. No se preocupe. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher.